everyone. So if you don't know me, my name is Shen, and I am trying to start this YouTube channel to kind of get this program out there. Um, it's called Dominary Strength 3.0. So 3.0 meaning that it's kind of the third version version of it. Having had a bunch of people run through it, including myself, and seeing what kind of changes here and there we had to make, and I uh, feel confident enough to kind of get it out there for other folks to kind of give it a try and see if they like it, uh, get some critique maybe um, of it that would be helpful to adjust fire accordingly. And we'll see where it goes from there. Hope you enjoy it. So this is just a general layout of the first week of the cycle, which is what you're about to see the, all the footage of from last week's training cycle. So it goes through day ones through day six and all the workouts and gets you clips from how it all went. So I have them separated by the days um, very clearly, but I am not going to include the weights um, of each footage, mainly because I really want to get this video out and I've already spent, I think, a decent amount of time putting this video together. So I just wanted to get it out there and get some critique and find ways to improve the way I'm making these videos for all of you. So hopefully you enjoy and let me know what you think. So to give you all a general idea of how this program is set up, uh, on the big three lifts being that the squat, bench, and deadlift, we are not increasing the weight every week. We're actually going to wait until we go through each cycle being that four weeks of increasing volume, the fifth week being a deload week in which you're not doing any more than 60 to 70% of what you were prescribed to do that day. And then that's the end of that cycle. And then you would start the cycle over again from week one, but increasing your weight anywhere from five to 20, 25 pounds uh, and going with that progression. So it's a lot different than what most people are trying to do at the gym, at least from what I see that people are constantly just trying to go more weight, more weight, more weight, and it often leads to injuries, to be honest. At least in my experiences, that I've seen folks, or they plateau so quickly, and not about that life. Here's Karina hitting 260 for a deadlift PR. Crazy. So as you can see in these videos here, I'm really trying to focus on the descent. I've been very bad at just dropping the weight at the top, um, so I'm trying to change that a bit. This is my little niece, Lily, and she wanted to learn how to lift a little bit, so we were teaching her some of the basics, just the movement, the kettlebells and straight bars. She was having fun with it. So I believe this is bench spoto presses. So dropping about two, three inches away from my chest, pausing for a little bit, and then pressing back up to the start position. I believe that was two plates, 225. And it felt good. I thought it was moving really well. Um, I was having a hard time unracking, and I didn't want to keep asking for 
uh, liftoffs. <laughs> I'm sorry that you just had to witness that. <laughs> I'm currently getting ready for an army physical fitness test that's going to be, I believe, either the 24th or 25th of June. So I'm trying to work in some cardio other than my 9 rep squat day. So I resulted to some burpees at the end of my workout that day. Honestly, I am very happy with this program, um, with the amount of times I get to go in the gym and work out, and also the progress that I've been making, cycle after cycle after cycle, um, and just PRs not only in one rep max, but also with the rep PRs, whether they are two rep max, three rep max, five rep max, or nine rep max, uh, or ten rep max actually. And so I've been really happy with it. Here I was doing some OHPs after I finished my working sets. I actually went for this PR right here, which was uh, 135 for threes. And this day I actually even forgot my wrist wraps. I did my entire workout without wrist wraps, which I feel like I never can do that, but it's pretty cool. This is Josh right here, and this was a PR for him, 275. Kid's only been lifting for maybe two, three months, so he's been progressing fairly well. This was some great breakfast in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. If you're in the area, you've never been, you need to go. This was 380 for a double. Huge PR for me. I hit it twice. And then I dropped down for triples. I believe that was two tens in the end, so 355. Yeah. For triples. Those felt good. And these were singles. A bunch of singles and then a couple triples. Again, I'm training that eccentric. Doing my best. And this was finishing off the week. Made some PV donuts over in Providence. Those were wonderful. Oh my goodness. Surprise Karina. I have some brought her some donuts. This is Synergy in Providence. This is where Tim works out. You'll see him in a few minutes, but a few seconds after. Got a great workout there. It took forever to do the workout. But this gym's pretty cool. It's like kind of in the basement, but not really. It has really good lighting. It's cool, man. It's very clean. But the bars are weird and different. The plates are weird. Um, this bench setup is pretty cool, though. Except the pins. Uh, maybe it's not very cool. The pins seem to be really low, but other than that, it's nice to get a lift in the tent. Especially when we do upper, because that's his, that's definitely his strength. And I don't know from him. Definitely get some good workouts for him. So, last voiceover that I'm going to leave is just why I think the volume progression and not increasing weight uh, 
week after week, but cycle after cycle. So if, after each five weeks that go by is beneficial is because uh, I believe you can get away from plateauing by doing that kind of progression as well as really allowing your body to adjust and grow according to the strength that you're gaining. So as far as injuries is concerned, I have not gotten injured in the past, I don't know, two years, two and a half years, so about the entire time I've been powerlifting because this has kind of been this philosophy that I've been under. Just because, like I, like I said before, I really enjoy doing this and I have a lot of fun with it. So anything that can kind of prevent me from doing it, I want to stay away from. So injury is being one of them. My thing that I always tell people is, if you're not hurt, you're getting better. Be consistent and keep getting after it. Share and subscribe. Take it easy.